Good Stat with Canadians Abroad. I'm here with Ozzy Smith. And uh, Ozzy, you're a very accomplished, obviously, baseball player <laughs> and, and athlete, you know. I played a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I played 19 years, so I, I, I guess there's, that's accomplishment. <laughs> I would say so, yeah. Now, um, you know, the, the Cardinals just won the World Series, which is huge. And you spent a lot of your career with the World Series. And they, you know, with their new can't lose attitude, I'd love to know sort of what you thought about um, this amazing win in Game 7. Well, I mean, you, when you look at their season, it was really the tale of two seasons. I don't think that they played um, like they did uh, to finish the season. I, I don't think that started until about a month and a half ago when they were ten and a half games out of first place. And um, all, all things seemed to, um, to come together for them uh, from a pitching standpoint. I think their bullpen was outstanding down the stretch, and it really kind of kept them in. And... Um, they played every day. Being back ten and a half games with, you know, a month to go, is, that's a lot of games to make up and a lot of things have to happen, um, you know, but you have to continue to, to play well and, and the Cardinals did that and lo and behold, you know, once you get into the playoffs, anything's possible yeah. and uh, they, they won the division the very last day, uh, well they got in the very last day of the season, which was, uh, which was exciting in and of itself and then um, uh, to play uh, Milwaukee and Philadelphia and, and to come out on top of that. I, I think that their, their timing was, 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 was outstanding and it really boils down to who plays the best at the right time and they certainly were, were the club playing the best at the right time. It's very exciting. It was a very exciting end to the, to the series too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, game six, I think, was up until the seventh inning wasn't very exciting because it wasn't very good baseball up until that point. But, you know, after the seventh inning, uh, being one strike away from elimination on two occasions, you know, and have um, uh, David Freeze come up and, and hit a triple and then f finish it uh, in, the, in the 11th inning with a home run. Uh, I've always said that the toughest game in the world to win is game seven on the road. And uh, if you have a chance to win game six on the road and you don't, uh, it can be very anticlimactic in Game 7, and I think that's exactly what Texas experienced, and I think the Cardinals knew going in that if they could get to a Game 7, then uh, their chances of winning were pretty good. Now, a huge you know, pat on the back. You're considered one of the best shortstops in baseball's history. Um, are there any players today that are, are playing that you, you know, hugely recognize and admire that are either shortstops or other positions? Well, I mean, I think uh, I've been very fortunate, or we have been very fortunate in St. Louis to watch Albert Pujols play his whole career there, his first 11 years of his career. And, you know, Albert is one of those guys that I, um, I consider um, a professional. And a professional is someone who's going to give you the same effort whether you're up by 10 or whether you're down by 10. Um, it's always fun watching players like that every day go out there and do their job. And now, um, one last question for you. We're here uh, today, actually, in preparation for a charity event that we're doing with the Canada-California Business Council in support of March of Dimes Canada. And I understand that you also are involved in a lot of charities in St. Louis. And I'd love to know about some of these and, and why you're involved. I try and help out. Uh, I don't have just one organization that I help. I try and help as many as I can. Um, I, I do work with the American Cancer Society. Uh, um, I also have a, uh, I'm, I'm the, the president of the Gateway Chapter, the PGA in St. Louis, and we have a foundation um, that introduces young kids in the inner cities to the game of golf. You know, growing up in Southern California myself in South Central Los Angeles, I didn't uh, have a chance to get introduced to the game. Uh, and I really didn't start planning until I retired in 1996. Wow. <laughs> so, um, you know, giving kids and, and trying to introduce kids to the game of golf is really what it's about and giving them an opportunity they otherwise would not have. So, um, you know, that's what I do now. And um, I'm also the educational ambassador for the Hall of Fame. So I do a lot of different things. Ozzy, that's incredible. Thank you so much for chatting with us and, and good luck in your golf round. Thank you very <laughs> much. Tomorrow. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm Samantha Goodstat, and you've been watching Canadians Abroad. Oh, wow.